Hello and good afternoon, everyone, uh, to this webinar organized uh, for certified financial planners by Arivu Pro. Um, so I'll be a host today, and uh, it is my pleasure to welcome all of you, especially our. Uh, uh, we have two people from FPSP India, Mr. Rajesh Singh, who is the Senior Manager South India, as well as Ms. Tina Ravel, who is the Regional Head of Western South India with us, who will be uh, heading the webinar session today and giving us a lot of information with respect to what CFP is, um, why one should do CFP and who should be the people doing CFP and uh, the opportunities in the field and more about the course details as well as they'll also be answering all of your questions uh, with respect to the course and uh, everything that the course has to offer. Um, so welcome everyone, welcome sir, welcome ma'am. Uh, I hand over to you sir to take the webinar forward. Thank you. Rajesh, you're on mute if you're speaking. Yes, uh, thank you, Leah. Uh, so I will invite Tina to start uh, the conversation and uh, she will talk about the uh, CFP, FPSP and the opportunity. Tina, can you please start? Thank you, Rajesh. It would be a good idea if you could please share the presentation, share the screen so that we can start. Uh, thank you so much for introducing and thank you so much for having this session. Um, thank you so much all the students for joining the session. Uh, the idea of today's session is to tell you more about the importance of what is professional qualification. Um, how do you decide onto which field you should be taking when you are, uh, you know, deciding onto which uh, professional qualification to go for? And uh, also talk about uh, CFP as a qualification and what it offers and what it holds um, in future. Um, what I would do is introduce myself first uh, so that you know who am I and then we will start. So hello everyone, my name is Tina Rawal. Um, I am the regional head uh, uh, for West and uh, South India with FPSB India team. Uh, with me is my colleague um, uh, Rajesh Singh. Uh, he is managing uh, a whole of the South India with me along with uh, uh, FPSB India and both of us are here today to uh, you know to dwell further into what you're doing currently and what you should be looking at and how you should take informed decisions for a better future and a better um, professional life that you can have. So there are so many things that we would want to talk about, but I would like to speak to you uh, starting from a few facts that you should be knowing so that it helps you in take the decision. So um, this is a broader uh, you know, preview and I wouldn't take you through each and every point of it, but few uh, facts and important things to uh, ponder upon is that with thousand plus universities in, in India with 40 plus thousand colleges and 10,000 plus standalone institutions across India with so many institutions could you have a number how many uh, you know students would be enrolling every year on a graduation or a master's level somewhere around 40 million people 40 million people enrolling for one or the other qualification in one or the other university or college or a standalone institution and all of you all as I am told that many of you are pursuing graduation many of you are pursuing masters and many of you are whatever during your uh, uh, in, in the process of learning in the process of the uh, you know professional qualification or your masters and graduation and so on so all of you all are in this particular category now, um, in order for us to be different from others, in order for us to be, um, you know, uh, unique so that we can be, uh, we can get the limited opportunities that are available in the market, we have to be really, really be standing, um, you know, out from the crowd of that 40 million people that are registering every year in different courses and different programs. Now, this, the, the last fact of the previous slide was very interesting, which I would want to bring your attention to, and that is that, out of all the fields that we have, let's say we have engineering, let's say we have, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, medical, we have commerce, we have, there's so many streams, we have CA, CAS and other professional qualifications and so on. Out of all the possible um, streams and possible uh, areas in which you can uh, secure your career into, the top 10 uh, and Rajesh, if you would want to go back to the first slide, that's what we are talking about. That the first, that the first ten programs, the last one, the first ten programs cover more than eighty percent of the total students enrolled. 
which means that out of these 40 million people, 80% of these students will be in the first 10 programs, be it engineering, be it medical or whatever the top 10 programs are. In order for us to stand alone, all we have to do is just identify a program which is not into these 10 programs. So 80% of your competition, 80% of your target people is already removed. Now all you have to do is compete with the remaining 20%. And how do you compete with the remaining percent is something that we are going to talk on the next slide. So then we, we add more feathers to a cap. How do we add more feathers? A plain vanilla qualification may not suffice in today's competitive world. So what we do, we probably uh, try to gain more knowledge, try to get more uh, competencies. And when we are doing that at the same time, it is equally important for us to not just do this, but also um, ensure that we are doing it in the right field where the need is and what industry demands. Basis that you need to look at some qualifications that are professional qualifications. Now, what is professional qualification? If any of the students you would want to know, name some professional qualification in the chat if you are listening to us actively. What do we what are the professional qualifications in the market available right now that we are aware of? Anyone? CA, yes, that is correct. CA, CMA, true, CS, yes. Wonderful. So all of you all know what is professional ACC, correct? All of you all know are aware of what is professional qualification. There are so many qualifications like you have mentioned CFP, CFA, uh, CPA, CMA, ACCA, CA. All of these qualifications are professional qualifications. CWA, yes. All of these qualifications are professional qualifications. And we doing any of these professional qualifications uh, adds more competency and more skills to our um, bouquet. And that's how we stand apart from those 40 million people right now what we do is we think about which field should we go on to there are certain factors in choosing this field maybe let's say pass rates if pass rates are not high then again the chances are less so you may want to consider that there are some professional qualifications where uh, you know so many people are going into that field that you know that field also has become one of the, those top 10 fields where you know 80% of the students are going so we may again want to avoid that because the supply and demand the job that are available in the market for in that particular field with the uh, students who are pursuing that qualification that also needs to balance out and things and so on so there are so many permutation combinations so many reasons for you to do some study and then take a call upon so yes why professional qualification because it helps you build competencies um, it gives you more skill sets which are relevant to the industry uh, and that's how you become a preferred choice of the recruiter uh, professional qualifications if not talk about some Indian qualifications qualifications will uh, also have a global recognition these international qualifications so you you know you know have you have a job opportunity to travel abroad or if you want to you know or go for further studies and these qualification uh, considering that they have global recognition they will always help you in terms of traveling abroad as well you of course you will have an edge over others if you have any professional qualification with with anyone who is having plain vanilla you know graduation or masters um all of these professional qualifications are most industry relevant qualifications and that is why it is important for you to also look at what is the uh, the current need of the industry which particular field is uh, booming right now and so accordingly you can take it higher package is something very obvious that you all know of um, uh, with that we move on to the next slide and let's talk about one specific field that is um, that is flourishing uh, like anything these days and why students should be choosing that particular field and that is called as financial planning education now um, let me tell you one thing that uh, you know uh, in terms of uh, when we have to take a call as to uh, you know what are things that we need to discuss upon and uh, you would you would be very happy to know glad to know that you know, India is the fifth largest economy in the world right now. When we talk about India being the fifth largest economy, how does it help? It uh, entails that there is a lot of money and a lot of finances and a lot of financial services that are needed in the country. With per anyone knows what is the per capita income of India? Yes, anyone? In the chat box, currently, what is the per capita income? Any guesses? Okay, so the per capita income for uh, uh, 
uh, for India as of now is 1.72 lakhs of rupees and that is a huge amount and people do not know how to invest or how to that is correct Tavi how to use and how to use that money and that is why you need advisors so what are advisors financial advisors they help you navigate your money they help you plan your finances now what is more important is that 50% of the consumers uh, in India also with our recent research report they have you know uh, they have concluded and I defined that a professional advisor is is very much needed in terms of planning their finances and they have uh, you know seen considerable amount of response and considerable amount of uh, uh, you know growth in their uh, finances and the money if they have taken their support and hence the need of it you know in recent uh, conversations when PM also spoke about 13 life skills he, he talks of financial planning being one of those skills and that is why uh, so much emphasis on why financial planning as a career should also be opt because should also be opt for because of so many things that things that are happening right now and these all will contribute to creating more opportunities and more options uh for the for the wider people we'll move on to the next slide rajesh So I was talking about all of these facts and figures. We're talking about bridging the gap of the demand and the supply. So like I mentioned, in a uh, in a population of 1.4 billion people, there are right now, if we were to talk about it, my colleague Rajesh will tell you more about how many CFP professionals and so on we have in India and worldwide and so on. But we, um, as against the population of 1.4 billion, we only have somewhere around 2,000, you know, 230 plus CFP professionals, 700 plus professionals. And these are, this is a very lesser number. So the demand is very high. The supply right now for us, so and Rajesh would agree. And if you would want to see for yourself, you can you know Google uh, the CFP job professionals in India. You will find a recent some six thousand, seven thousand job opportunities available in the market. But we do not have those many CFP professionals to cater to. And the reason being that the that the field is booming, that the that there are ample opportunities and ample vacancies, but students are not aware aware of it. And that is why uh, this is a very very uh, you know good idea and a good sector for you all to consider and have a look at you know developing your career uh, into this field and hence bridge the gap of the demand that we have which we kind of, kind of currently cannot cater but with more students coming in this qualification we'll be able to do it in the future with that we move on to the next slide why students are choosing financial planning because uh, because of the recent research report that we have done this has uh, brought to our notice that you know 87 percent of the uh, you know, of the of the professionals, they keep they are able to keep their clients for longer. Why? Because the CFP qualifications give you that confidence, give you that idea, give you that holistic approach to ensure that you are not just helping earning money out of it as a profession or helping a client to uh, plan the finances, secure the money, grow the money, but you are also uh, you know ensuring that their lives are being so. When we talk uh, to people, we say that it's not a qualification it's more of a noble profession so once you are advising or once you are helping supporting somebody to um you know to uh, to build their finances or to grow their money you are not just helping that particular person or that one family all of the people that are involved in their uh, lives and who are benefiting out of it so this is a very noble profession all these figures and that you are seeing right in front of you in the screen is something that tells you about how successful this career looks like and how much uh, CFP professionals are in need these days. Um, you, you know, towards the end of the session, we will also talk to you about the recent reports from Rojgar.com and so on, which talks about the salary packages, the every salary packages, or, you know, the highest payout of the, we spoke about the CFP professionals, or, and we also spoke about all the kind of professional qualification that are available. But do you know who, which qualification is the highest qualification or the highest package giving qualification in India right now? It is CFP with 30 to 40 lakhs of rupees. And, um, you know, whilst we are talking, my colleague Rajesh can also, or towards the end when we are having your questions and answers, please feel free to uh, write down your questions in the chat box. We will be addressing them towards the end. But while we are, whilst we are doing that, we will also share that report with you so that you are also aware that what are the packages right now that are there in the market for CFP professional, how they are higher than other professional qualifications and things and so on. With that, moving on to the next slide, Rajesh. 
so um, why cfp qualification i would say that you know it's more than wealth it's about the holistic planning of uh, uh, financial plan uh, where and we uh, the the cfp professional work as a guide and gives a holistic plan identifies what your goals are what uh, uh, when do you want to achieve what is your risk appetite basis that uh, your small time goals your long time goals basis that they chart out the entire financial plan to help you out achieve those goals within the time set time lines and then continuously reviewing it to see if we are going and also goals are changing when you grow in your life your goals keep on changing so uh, when your goals change how accordingly the plan will change you know what is working what is not working how to modify everything throughout so so once you become a cfp professional uh, you can either go for a job or you can either become you know start your own practice in india again only one of a very few or i would say one of the qualifications international especially qualifications where you can also practice in india is cfp qualification now moving on to the next slide rajesh with other qualifications there might be some challenges but cfp is a qualification which uh, primarily you know talks about uh, and gives you an uh, option yes eligibility we definitely uh, vishwa will be going to uh, will be going to talk about the eligibility and what are the modules what is the content everything my colleague rajesh is very soon going to be talk about it but before we start and talk to you about what a cfp certified financial planner is a qualification is it is important for you to understand who owns this qualification what is that organization do how uh, you know how recognized and how relevant that qualification is so for your easy understanding i'll tell you that there are so many uh, programs and courses in in, in india uh, in locally also and internationally also how would you decide that which qualification to go for which is the valid qualification like for example the professional qualifications in india like ca and cas they are approved by the act of parliament in india similarly if there is any qualification that you are looking for from the uk you must see that uh, those qualifications must be approved from the royal charter like how we have act of parliament similarly in uk we have royal charter you must know and ensure that those qualification are approved by royal charters in U uk in usa if you are looking for qualification like cfa and cfp you must look at whether those qualifications are approved from senate or not both of these qualifications are approved from senate and these qualifications who are approved from let's say either uh, in india uh, act of parliament or royal chartered or senate in usa these qualifications are uh, uh, well recognized uh, qualification and you can definitely go ahead with it um, fpsb india fpsb limited let's talk about that first financial planning standards board of usa based out in denver is a standard setting body for financial planning across the globe we not just set the standards but, but we also on a qualification called cfp certified financial planner we examine examine and certify uh, the candidates for cfp as well uh, cfp uh, you know tends to be the highest recognized gold level qualification across the world in the field of personal finance very small difference between cfp and cfa cfa is corporate finance cfp is personal finance when we talk about cfp there is no qualification in the world that can talk about personal finance at the level of the standard that cfp does uh, it's a global qualification it's a global, global organization fpsb india is a direct subsidiary of fpsb usa uh, we are present in 27 countries 27 territories rather a territory would have more countries uh, including in one territory that can also be done uh, we are a not for profit organization we are a member of uh, osco and oecd and osco I, um, ifie so we are the boards we are the standard setting boards um, uh, and hence we are associated with all of these organizations um, when we talk about um, uh, uh, global number of cfp professionals that we have we have somewhere around uh, 2200 plus um, uh, 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 220,000 plus CFP professionals, the recent number after 31st of December uh, across the globe. In India, if we talk about, we have somewhere around 2,730 plus CFP professionals that are currently pursuing and thousands of students and members who are on, on their way to um, be there. So that's about the FPSB as a qualification. That is about how you should decide on a professional qualification. 
and how do we uh, you know set the standards for uh, financial planning and how do we own this qualification called CFP. Now with all this information I would like to invite my colleague uh, Rajesh to talk to you about CFP as a qualification eligibility criteria and the employability the few questions that I can already see in the chat box will be addressed by my colleague Rajesh and after that we if there are any uh, questions that are not answered we will be answering them. So with that I will hand it over to you Rajesh. Thank you. Thanks, Tina, and thanks for explaining everything about the professional qualification and how CFP is one of the best qualification out of all the uh, options available uh, in terms of the uh, um, uh, for the uh, in terms of the professional qualification. If we talk about uh, as you all have already mentioned that we are present uh, present in more than twenty seven territories uh, across the globe. So. Um, if I talk about the statistics, uh, about the numbers of uh, uh, total CFP professional across globe. So right now uh, we have more than 22,23,700 plus CFP professionals across globe. Uh, you have covered all, all of these things, so I will move forward. The accreditation and recognition, if, if I talk about, uh, we are the member of ISCO and uh, we, we are the member of OECD Financial Education. They recognize us. Now, uh, the, the uh, importance of CFP qualification. So is the financial planning profession accepted by regulators? Yes. Does the CFP certification teach professional skills? Yes, we cover all the professional skills which are required for the advisory field, uh, uh, for the, uh, uh, the skills which are required in the field of uh, financial planning. Does the CFP certification teach global best practices? Yes, we we have uh, uh, 80, more than 80% of global content in the course. So we take care of the global best practices which are required to perform the jobs and uh, 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 it makes a person more knowledgeable for the uh, uh, advisory field also. Does the CFP certification permit global mobility? Yes. Does the CFP certification provide diverse work opportunities? I will cover this in, in the coming slides, but yes, I, it covers. Now, uh, if I talk about the career opportunities available for the CFP professionals, once you are CFP uh, certified uh, students, once you cover, uh, cover all the program, you can start your career in the field of wealth management. You can uh, work as a uh, work in the field of asset management. You can work in the organizations like which are into the asset management, client service management, you can uh, work in the field of tax and estate planning, portfolio managers you can become, and the top level is, is C CRO, Chief Risk Officer. And there is a beauty in our qualification in CFP. Uh, so other qualification makes you uh, very good for, the, for performing the job. But once you are CFP professional, you can definitely work in the corporates, you can perform the jobs, but you can practice also at the same time. So you can become entrepreneur, you can advise people, you can run your own organization, you can become self-independent. Now here are some of, the, some of the benefits of doing the CFP certification. So it opens the gate for you, opportunity to join global network of more than uh, 2 lakhs, 23,700 and plus CFP professional. And it enhanced career and employment opportunities with financial services companies. So once you are CFP certi uh, certified per person, you can choose any of the organization in, in the sector of BFSI. Uh, in the field of investment banking, in the field, field of risk management, you can work. More revenue streams by increasing product and services offering for the client. So if you are practicing uh, uh, and you are advising people and you are following all the ethics and you will be uh, uh, equipped with the right knowledge, which is required to perform and uh, for, for, uh, performing a job in the field of financial planning. So it increases your product productivity and as a result, your customers are satisfied. It's a globally recognized credential. Uh, more satisfied clients you will get in coming time and due to word of mouth, you will get more recognition, you will get more clients if you are advising people. Now here is the process uh, for the uh, registration. So uh, once you start, uh, you start for the CFP qualification. Uh, you start uh, with the registrations. You will select the course. There are three courses which I will uh, cover in the coming in the coming slide. And then you complete the education and you go for the uh, exam. And after clearing um, uh, the exam, you apply for the certification. And uh, 
for uh, after clearing all the four levels, then you apply for the final level of certification, which is CFP professional. Now, here are the four specialist course. So uh, first three levels, if I talk about one is investment planning, second it, uh, is retirement and tax planning, third is risk and estate planning. So you can start from any of the three uh, options available. So there is no sequence. You can start from the investment planning and then you can proceed for retirement and tax planning and risk and estate planning, or you can start from the risk and estate planning and you can then uh, go for the second level or first level. So the idea is to complete for, complete all three first level. When you complete all three first level, then you go for the final level, which is the integrated financial planning. And uh, you you will go, uh, once, once you register, you choose the education provider. So we have uh, 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 several uh, approved education provider across India. And Aribu Pro is one of the uh, approved education provider for CFP qualification. The exam held, uh, takes place every month for first three levels and the, for, for the final level, which is the integrated financial planning and the case study. There are two components in the final level. Uh, it happens once in two months. So you get six window in a year. There are two uh, pathways to complete the uh, qualification. One is regular pathways. Second is fast track pathways. So we have changed the nomenclature for challenge pathways. It's a fast track pathway now. So for regular pathway, the eligibility is uh, once you are uh, you you are 18 years of old and you have cleared 12th uh, class, then you can start the, uh, the certification program, the CFP program, and you can register and then you can uh, go for investment planning, specialist certification, retirement and tax planning, specialist risk and estate planning. Once you clear all three certification, then you go for the final level, which includes the integrated financial planning and the final level of exam, which is CFP exam. In the fast track pathway, uh, this pathway eligible applicants to, uh, the idea is to accelerate, accelerate the uh, applicants uh, for this through this pathway. If you have done the certain level of uh, qualification, if you have a certain level of experience, then you can go for the fast track pathway. And in this, uh, if you have done MBA in any field, marketing, finance, HR, and if you are C, uh, if you have done CFA, a US uh, CMA, ACCA, or CA with uh, three years of articleship with BCom, then you can register for the fast track pathway, and uh, you uh, only appear for the final level, which is the uh, financial uh, uh, integrated financial planning. You only go for the final level, and for first three level, you get you will get the exemptions. The document and relevant experience uh, uh, are here. So um, you can uh, get all the information from the Aribu Pro for this. The benefits of CFP certification, we have covered um, more or less everything in this part. So uh, it will enhance student employability. Once you are qualified, you will get more chance uh, and uh, you will get more opportunities to work in the job market. And uh, industry partnerships. So. Uh, it will open the gates for, for you in the industries uh, and you, you will be able to address the market needs. So as Tina mentioned that there is a huge demand for the CFP professional in, in the field of financial planning. So when, once you are in the market, you will be able to address the uh, need of the market. And alumni contribution. So as I mentioned that there are already uh, 2 lakhs, 23,700 hundred and plus CFP professionals across in, uh, globe. And in India, we have around uh, more than 2,700 uh, 700 plus uh, CFP professionals. So you get the contributions from the alumni also. And positive reputation. So once you are CFP uh, certified professional, when you advise people, when you perform the job uh, in the uh, different organization, uh, you get the positive reputation. So uh, this, uh, I have already covered this job opportunities and uh, the second uh, thing, which is most important, you can uh, practice also, as I have already explained this. Thank you. Uh, this was all about the, uh, the CFP, the need of the uh, certified financial planning program, the opportunities available in the market. Hey, Rohan, are you there? So, thank you, thank you, Rajesh, thank you, Tina, uh, for the great explanation about CFP course. Uh, 
So I would like to ask the students, is there any question? Actually, I see the questions in the chat box. Uh, so can you please explain Rajesh? Said they are asking about course fee. Uh, what is the salary package of an fresher CFP? Ina, would you like to answer their questions? Sure, Rajesh. All right. So I'll go from the very beginning. I'll take a question and then I'll keep answering. And feel free to add if I have missed on to anything, Rajesh. Sure. Um, the first question that I see in the chat box talks about um, what will be the total cost of the exam and the registration? Uh, very valid question. Um, uh, I would suggest that, uh, okay, so the, qualifi the qualification, the entire qualification, like Rajesh has mentioned, there are two pathways. One is a regular pathway where you have to complete all four modules. The another one is the fast track pathway. For regular pathway, the complete fee, and this is the discounted fee exclusively for India, if you go to USA, um, uh, UK, or any other country, it will be four, five, five folds of what we are charging in India. So in India, the fee for entire qualification boils down to somewhere around 1.15 uh, lakhs of rupees, uh, which includes registration, exam fee, course material, um, uh, course purchase and certification also. So the entire qualification. If you are coming through a fast track pathway, then the entire qualification boils down to somewhere around 75,000. Uh, however, when you come to us directly, uh, you will have to pay us the entire fee. There seems to be some discount that is given to our approved education provider. So we, as a qualification awarding body, we cannot teach. And that is we have uh, approved education providers. Arivi Pro is one of our approved education providers in that region. And that is why uh, we would suggest that you reach out to them uh, to register for this qualification so that you can get some benefit on the pricing part as well. That's one. Uh, the second question is the duration of the course. Very valid question. And thank you so much for asking this, Vishwa. The duration of entire qualification can be completed from 12 months to 18 months time. So there are four modules, as Rajesh has mentioned. Each module will have one exam. You can finish uh, one module in one quarter and then appear for the exam as exams for the first three uh, specialist program happens every month and for the last two uh, the uh, the financial plan plus the last exam it is uh, every alternate month so the entire qualification can be completed within let's say 12 to 18 months time uh, the the duration of teaching or studying the individual module will be somewhere around 60 hours so you will need a total of 240 hours of studying and teaching by um, uh, uh, you know the institute by Ari Pro so that you can um, you know complete your qualification well in time that is about the duration the eligibility very valid question cfp is a master's level program it is equivalent to pg in any country and that is why when you are applying for the certification you must be a graduate however when you can start this qualification you can start this qualification right after your 12th so the minimum eligibility criteria to start the qualification is 12th clear but to become a cfp professional you need to complete your graduation that's about the eligibility. Also, in order for you to become a CFP professional, you need to complete all the exams plus one ethics module, which will be available on your LMS portal and three years of work experience um, uh, in, in the field of finance or one year of supervised work experience. What is a supervised work experience? Uh, if you're working under a CFP professional, it will be a supervised work experience. If you're working any other uh, organization, it would be a non-supervised experience. So th three years uh, of a, a normal experience or one year of supervised work experience. Can I pursue CFP along while doing CA? Very good question. You know, interestingly, in India, uh, a person who advises in terms of how, how you should invest, where you should save your finances, what should be done uh, with your finances is something that ideally should be done by a uh, by a certified advisor, which is certified professional, CFP professional in short. In, U in U US and so on, it is a regulated profession, which means you cannot do any investment without consulting with the CFP professionals. In India, it is coming, but it will take some time, but people have started understanding the importance of it. However, right now what is happening that CAs in India are mostly uh, you know, giving advices on how to invest, where to save the taxes and things and so on. And hence, 
it would be the best combination if CS could have CFP. So then they would be certified to give the advice that they are giving right now without any certification. So it definitely complements well. More importantly, CA is an accounting qualification. CFP is a finance qualification. A finance especially finance planning is something that starts before accounting and continues after accounting is done. And hence for CA to have that holistic package will be more lucrative and more beneficial because both the qualification you can practice, you already have your clients, you have got a certificate to kind of advise them as well along with the accounting that you already are managing being a CA. So coming back to your question, yes, uh, CFP aligns very well with CA and you can definitely do it, uh, this qualification along with CA. Now, what types of questions are asked in the exam? Very valid questions. The questions that are asked in the exam are MTQs, multitask questions. So you are given with a choice of four options, but then it's not as simple as checking one of them, but there would be uh, some cases that will be given to you. You solve those cases and basis that you choose the right answer. So it is MTQs. I would not say it's MCQ, which is multiple choice question, which is the next question. It is a, a multiple task question. In the first three uh, specialist, uh, specialist exams, 75 multiple task questions are asked and the exam is for two hours. The last exam is for three hours. It is divided into two sections. The first section has uh, 25 standalone questions and the second section has a case study and uh, 25 on other MTQs based on that case study that needs to be resolved. I hope I have answered that question again. Fee for CFP, we already spoke about it. Uh, Objective or subjective, I just mentioned it is MTQs. However, the financial plan that you need to submit is a very comprehensive one. So for example, plus one financial plan. Exams are, uh, like I mentioned, multiple task questions. But the plan that you need to submit, a case study is given to you well in advance. You work on that case study. You prepare a financial plan of somewhere around 50 to 70 pages. A holistic plan, uh, financial plan based on the questions and the requirements that are set and given to you in your portal. And that needs to be submitted. So that would be a very subjective financial, uh, financial plan that you need to submit. And the exam will be MTQs. After completing of exam, there is just this question. And I am I am afraid I am not understanding what exactly is the I, question. I think, Tina, um, this person is asking after completing the exam, uh, there is experience required for yes. the, uh, claiming the CFP certificate. All right. uh, good thing is that the three years of work experience that we are talking about, you can have it before, during, or after completing the exam. So all the experience that you have in financial services will be counted in it. Yes. What about the question types? I have already addressed this question. I've completed three years of our articleship and I see enter. Yes. So if... Uh, Yes. So you are eligible as per what you have mentioned, you are eligible to go through the fast track mode and three first three modules will be exempted. You only will have to complete the financial module plus the final CFP exam. You can definitely get in touch with uh, a review pro team and they can help you out with enrolling through the fast track mode. You are eligible for that. What about CS with CFP? Uh, see, uh, CFP is a qualification that gels along Interestingly, and you will be very happy to learn that we have uh, people doing CFP from all the walks of life. Uh, we have seen, um, you know, people after retirement doing it for their financial planning and financial planning for their friends and for, for, you know, just to kill the time and have their own practice. We have seen people coming from engineering. 40% of our students are from engineering background. Many of our medical, because they see that when people come to uh, medical consultation, they often talk about their finances and their, um, you know, uh, their medical and policies and so on. So even uh, doctors are doing CFP as a qualification. So be, you pair it with anything and it'll, it'll go very well along with any of the qualification, uh, considering the fact that you are allowed to practice in India. Uh, in today's generation, you people, what you think of is getting a job quickly, going uh, on a higher level at a very fast pace, then retire, live the life on your own terms and practice as possible, have something, some set up of your own so that you know you are uh, not answerable to anybody and with that kind of lifestyle and mindset this qualification fits in the best because what are 50 percent of our cfp professionals you know they are uh, practicing they are handling huge uh, 
AUMs of you know hundred crores and above and earning far 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 better than any professional qualification, including CFP professionals who are uh, doing their jobs. Though the uh, salary packages that CFP professionals get after a few years of experience is exponentially high as compared to any other um, uh, similar kind of a thing. But uh, negative marking, no, there is no negative marking. So uh, rest assured about it. How about the centers? So the exams are conducted at NSC centers. Our centers are available across the country. Seats are available very con conveniently. If you want to appear, it is an uh, uh, online exam. If you want to appear at our NSC centers, you can very well go there. If not, if you want to appear uh, uh, at your at the luxury of your home or at your institute, uh, you can very well do that. It, uh, the exams are also available remotely proctored as well. So at your convenience, you can appear for the exam. Where can we write the exams? Like I mentioned, remote proctored as well uh, and uh, at NSC centers as well. So wherever is comfortable to you. This question I have already addressed. Uh, what kind of experiences? Only financial domain exposure considered, yes. So in the field of financial services, your experience should be, and that will only be considered. Is there any rule that you should write an exam certain attempts? No, there's no such rule. You can uh, try. However, a good thing is that once you are studying with an approved education provider, which means in your case, it would be Aribu Pro, uh, once they have taught you the entire program, they have taken the mocks, when they are confident that you are ready to appear for the exams, that time they, you know, uh, from the LMS portal, they select that yes, you are ready and then only you can book the exam. So there are necessary checks available to avoid unnecessary attempts to make sure that you clear the exams in minimum attempts. What is the, uh, here I would also, I, I don't know if you asked the questions, but we have missed on to sharing this information. The pass rates of this professional qualification CFP are very high. Uh, the pass rates that we have seen for past few years in Indian and global as well are 55 to 60%. So that's one good thing that you should um, consider. Yes. So irrespective of what CA articleship is right now, uh, we will need three years of work experience if it is not under the supervised CFP professional, otherwise one year. So we, we continue and we remain to have it uh, three years of work experience only. I am a CS executive student. I don't have a college degree. Even though I am eligible, you said a degree is required to become a professional. Why is that? Okay. Okay, understand this. Uh, you can start the qualification after 12th. So from what I can see, you can definitely start the qualification since you have completed the qualification 12th. Whilst you are applying for the CFP qualification, which means you have completed all the four modules, you have completed three years of work experience or one year of supervised work experience in your ethics module. By the time you already be graduate and graduation is required. Why? Because it is a PG level qualification. You cannot be a CFP professional and not being a graduate. Can you get a master's before getting graduation? No. A graduation is needed for you to be a to be at the level of PG. It is the same reason because it is a PG level qualification. You must be a graduate when you are applying for CFP uh, uh, certification. I hope that answers and addresses this question. What is the fee for integrated? There are different different uh, segments of the fee. Um, there are exam fee for each module, certification fee for each module, course fee for each module and registration fee. These are all the components of the fee. All of them put together is 1.15 lakhs of rupees. If you want more details in depth, you can definitely reach out to the um, uh, to the to the relevant people from the Arivu Pro team and they will be able to help you out with all the, these details in terms of the individual pricing as well. Yes, all of these experiences that you have mentioned in the field of uh, uh, stock broking, in the field of insurance, in the field of banking, BFSI, all of that will be included. Uh, I I am sorry. Can you Rajesh? Can you get the what is the last question? I don't understand. Yeah, uh, so I am I am also not understanding. The person is writing if we complete second PUC. So. Uh, can you please uh, rewrite it again that what is second yeah. PUC? If we, we are unable to understand the question, if you want to want this question to be addressed, I would suggest that you rewrite the question and let us know what is the second PUC. 
in the meantime if there are any other questions people please do ask otherwise uh, it's 12th exam yes right. So, right. so once you have completed the 12th then you can start cfp while you're pursuing 12th you cannot start cfp as a qualifications when you have once you have completed the 12th Along with the articleship, yes, you can do. Uh, have you complete? Okay, Deepika, have you completed your inter IPCC? Have you cleared IPCC? Yes. So if you have completed IPCC and if you're doing your articleship, I would suggest that you wait a little longer because once you have completed three years of experience, you will then be eligible for the fast track mode. So abhi agar aap karte hai, and if you do not have three years, if you have three years of experience, this is the right time. Go for the fast track mode with the directly to the last level. If you have a few years or few months remaining to complete three years, I would suggest you wait so that you can directly go to the fast track. If you do not have three years of work experience that I'm afraid, what will happen is that you will have to start from the first wave. All right. Any other questions? Tina, Keshav is asking, is only employment experience that is considered or the business experience is also considered? Okay, uh, there are certain criteria in terms of which experience is considered. Um, uh, for, for a layman language, we say that any experience in the field of financial uh, services will be included. So it depends, you need to submit the document and if uh, it is valid as per those parameters, we will consider the experience. Explain again about fast track option. Okay. Uh, if in case you are masters, you are an MBA or you have done a PG in any field with three years of work experience in, in the field of uh, financial services, you are eligible for uh, fast track mode, which means you skip first three modules, first three exams, you directly come on to the last level where you submit a financial plan and the final exam. That's it. Uh, similarly, there are other qualifications like, for example, you have cleared IPCC with three years of work experience, you are eligible for the fast track mode. If you have completed uh, CFA, if you have completed ACCA, other professional qualifications, the list is available. Rajesh, it would be a good idea to put that in the chat box who all are eligible to appear for the fast track mode so that you can see if you are eligible, you can reach out to uh, this institute and they will help you register for the fast track mode. Okay. Uh, but not cleared enter CA. You see, uh, CA enter is required. IPCC cleared is a must for you to become uh, uh, eligible for the fast track mode. Salary packages. So uh, for a fresher who has just completed uh, CF, you know, uh, just completed uh, uh, all the four papers uh, and just become a CFP professional. So the fresher CFP professional gets a package from somewhere between 8 to 15 lakhs of rupees. That is the starting salary, 8 to 15 lakhs of rupees. Let's say you have some 2-3 years of experience, then it becomes 15 to 25 lakhs. Uh, our average package right now, uh, you know, ranges from 20 to 30 uh, lakhs of rupees. Uh, this changes drastically when you are uh, practicing. This is for the job. If you are practicing, the income that our uh, uh, CFP professionals uh, and 50% of our CFP professionals are practicing right now is way more higher than the uh, salary packages. So that's about the salary package. All right. I think I have... Yes, you can do the... M See, until and unless that practicing you, you you practicing is not in conflict with the employment that they are doing and if the employer is fine you can do that so cfp would not have a say in it but then your employer might have a say on it so that is something that you need to check with the employer i hope i have answered your question vignesh if you've completed your ug then four levels you are going through the regular pathway damodar Yes. Is there any placement program conducted by the body? Uh, we do support you throughout. So we have, uh, you know, continuous CPD programs. When you become our CFP professional, we continue, uh, you know, you renew it every year and we continue to ensure that you get those 15 CPD points by learning those new skills and new competencies that are required for you to perform this job better every year. Um, whilst you are studying also, uh, I am sure the institution are edu approved education providers and we uh, do various sessions. We do industry uh, interactions for our students and so on. And you can definitely benefit out of it. 
Uh, I I I can see NISM, CPA, and VA uh, certified in holding IRDA license as well. Uh, we have some qualifications from this field. For example, CAIIB. Uh, if you are a CAIIB, you are eligible for the fast track mode. Uh, similarly, there are certain more qualifications which are already listed down here by Rajesh. You can check if any of those qualifications you have done, uh, then you are eligible for the fast track mode. Yes, it is very much used for fund accounting, investment banking, and so on. Uh, in fact, this qualification is very much sought after qualification in all those fields. Are there any more questions? Uh, if no more questions, Rajesh, we may want to conclude the session. But uh, thank you so much for listening to us very patiently. Um, and I really appreciate the kind of questions, all relevant and all nice questions that you have asked. Um, I can see and I understand that, uh, you know, does it include CS training period? Um, well, like I have mentioned, uh, if it is in the field of uh, financial uh, services, it will be included. If not, then it might check. Only the CA, three years of work experience that has been already verified by CA, that is not verified. But for CS, we will verify the experience. I hope I have answered this question as well. Uh, we are not sure we need, we still need, uh, you know, uh, three years of work experience, but this is, this thing has recently come in and that is, I will have to look at it and we will get back to you on the same thing. The, when the classes will begin, uh, do we have any representation from Aribu Pro here? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hi, uh, so we are going to start the class from uh, 15th uh, April. So the date is not yet confirmed, but in the mid of the April, we will start the class. Any inquiries about the class and course details, you can reach us at, uh, reach us to Adivu Pro. We, our team is will definitely help you uh, regarding everything. Can you please mention your contact details where they should reach out to in the chat box? Yeah, so Tina, I will tell you that uh, they all are added in our WhatsApp group. I'm also the part of uh, the WhatsApp group. So okay. what I'll do, yeah, I, uh, the Rohan will coordinate and I will also share some of the details with them regarding, again, uh, regarding the fast track pathway and everything so that they uh, are informed and... I have there shared a number in the chat box. So any students, any queries regarding the course and the fees details, you can reach us at uh, the number is 968665253. I have already shared. So yeah, our team will help you. Uh, thank you so much, Arivu Pro team, for having me. Thank you so much, Rajesh, for organizing this. And thank you, everyone, for listening Thanks, to us. Tina. Thanks, uh, Tina. I wish you all the very best for your future endeavors. You all are very smart students. You will take right decisions. Uh, all we want for you is to take an informed decision. Uh, wish you all the best for very future endeavors. And thank you so much. Have a good weekend, everyone. Yeah, thanks, Tina, and thanks, Aribu Pro team, yeah, yes. for organizing uh, this webinar. Yes, Rohan, please. Thank you. Thank you, Dina. Thank you, Rajesh. Uh, if any queries, any uh, thing you need to ask, we have a WhatsApp group. You can ask there. I have said a number. Our team is ready to help you in any doubt. So, yeah, again, I am thankful to Tina for the great uh, presentation regarding CFP course. She, uh, she answered all the uh, queries perfectly. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Rajesh, once again. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Bye. bye, everyone. Take care. Bye, bye. Yeah, bye.